What's up YouTube fam and welcome back to another video. If you guys are new here, my name is Cobbler G and today we're going to be taking you through a detailed restoration of a pair of Ferragamos. So let's roll that b-roll and see what we've got. Let's get started. Shoe is on the last. First protocol, we're going to be removing this old top lift and heel block. It's a nice leather heel block on here, so we're going to try and keep that if we can. It's no biggie if we can, we'll just remake it with some nice top lift pieces of leather. Split underneath, so we'll just be redoing a new leather heel block towards the end there. A couple of nails poking through here, so we're just gonna suck them off. Makes removing the sole just a little bit easier. block is off, now time to tap the sole. What I like to do is just take a little tool here, I'm just going to pop it in between where the welt and the sole match, creating a little channel and that will allow us to access the stitches with a knife a little bit easier. Stitch is broke, so the sole should just peel up now. So we're going to keep this piece, we're going to take off this, it's attached with a couple of rivets on the other side and we're going to reattach that to the new sole. Alright so now that we've got the inside open, we can have a look and see what's going on. So interesting the way that they've done this, they haven't used any cork filler like you see in a lot of shoes. They've just got a massive piece of leather in here that slots straight into that cavity and it's got the shank attached to it. So we're not going to be touching that, we're just going to leave that as is. We're going to remove all these old nails that are here pull them through from the heel and then we're going to pick all the old stitches out, get it ready, prepared for the new soles. Let's do it! So one even coat all the way around the shoe is what I normally do. 
and then come back and do a double coat on the well area. With this being all leather on the bottom with this leather piece of the cavity, I'm just going to do a double layer of glue over the entire shoe. Alright, so now we're heating up some pastries and uh, sole. So that's our JR sole in there. We're going to reactivate the glue with some heat and then we'll apply it to the shoe. Now we're just going to apply a little bit of dye to the sole just to give it a brown kind of colour, sort of match the uppers a little bit better. So we'll go ahead and do that now.
guys, so that's the bottoms finished. Now we're going to be doing the sides and the uppers. So all the edging, what we're going to do for that is we use a little wet sponge and we're just going to apply that to the side, just dampen the edge a little bit and using a sanding pad, we're just going to wet sand all the way around the bottom of the shoe here. So this allows the shoe on the edges to have a super high shine, nice smooth leather, really buffs out nice. There's your rough edges at the side, and then your smooth edges there. So just a little bit of work, care and attention into this, and it adds such a different characteristic to the bottom of the shoe afterwards, with super shiny edges. All right guys, so now that the edges are all smooth, before we add some color to that, we're just gonna put in some conditioning cleaning into the uppers. So get them nice and shiny, using some Renovator, which is a cleaner and conditioner and some medium brown saphir, which is gonna add some nice color and shine into it. So first off, I'm just gonna get some of the renovator on here, and we're just gonna work that into the leather. There's quite a bit of discoloration in the front of the toes here, and around the sides, so this will add a good, good deep condition into the shoes, and then we can buff it up with some polish color afterwards, put some color back into them. Okay, so we'll leave that to soak in for about five minutes, then we'll brush it off, and then we'll apply some of the cream. All right guys, so that's us done with another project. So these spare gamos came out pretty tasty. We uh, ripped everything off and we popped on a new JR sole and rubber combination heel. We've also gone and done some brass nailing and some fudging around the sides just for some extra details on the bottom. Managed to salvage the old Salvatore Ferragamo pin that was on the bottom. We popped them in each one and we've given the uppers and sides a good cleaning condition and they're ready for round two of their life. All right guys, so as always, thank you so much for checking it out. You guys are legends, each and every one of you. Mad respect to you. All right, so my name's Cobra G. You guys are new here. Don't forget to drop a little like, hit that subscribe button, and drop a little comment below to let me know what you think about the job. All right guys, so until the next one, I've been Cobra G, you've been legends, and peace.